Hello, my name is Odelia Mirzadeh and I'm a speech and language pathologist and I'm the co-founder of Innovative Speech and Language Pathology. Today I will be discussing how to recover cognitive skills after a stroke. Stroke is the interruption of blood supply to the brain and stroke symptoms refer directly to the region of the brain affected and the associated nerves that control each muscle group. A client who's had a stroke may have decrease in their attention span, their awareness and alertness level, and high increase of agitation. Therefore, they may be harmful to themselves as well as people around them. When working with a client who's just had a stroke, a clinician or a speech and language pathologist will work on increasing their attention span during the course of an activity, and that may be by introducing a lot of distractions. And they will work on where they are currently. Are they able to um, talk about what happened to them? Do they know what happened to them? Do they know where they are? Do they know what time it is, what the day it is, what what the date is? And do they know, are they aware of their safety? level as far as if they get up, will they get dizzy and fall down? Can they get up? Do they need to ask for help? Can they use a call light to ask a nurse for help? And so forth. In working with a stroke patient and working on their cognitive level, it's very crucial for the speech and language pathologist to find out the prior level of function of the uh, client prior to the stroke after the stroke and where the client or the caregiver is aiming for the client to be after their recovery. Different, um, different tools that may be work and different therapy methods that will be work with a client who's had a stroke may be um, working on conversion and diversion tasks, which is giving them a category such as name as many animals as you can, or giving them, tell, giving them the items such as lion, panther, cheetah, what are these? And asking the client to name the category. You can also make it more difficult as in, they're not just animals, but they belong in the cat family. So you can make it more difficult depending on the client's level of function. For the higher um, level of functions, you can do uh, tasks such as crossword puzzles or Sudoku. You will work with the client and their problem solving skills, such as if you locked yourself out, what would you do? You will work on sequencing tasks, such as how can you cook eggs? Or how do you um, make your bed in the morning? And you can also work on attention. Attention is a huge part of um, every task because if the attention is not, if the client is not gathered, and their, their attention is scattered, then they're not able to complete a task from the beginning to the end. It is very crucial for a client who's had a stroke to seek a speech and language pathologist aid to help them recover some of their cognitive skills and how they can work on their cognitive skills based on their level of function. And that's how we work with recovering cognitive skills after a stroke.